hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to create or insert new record using generates with a create view class in Django Python web applications and here we got the final output notice a create new record link is added at this moment this table contains around 16 records the last user student name is a mono let's check in our database table also student table browse see the student id is 16 the name is mono and gender is female let's insert create new record let's redirect to the insert template and adding john john is a student name male create new record see here we got the 17th record is inserted successfully and the student name is john the gender is male let's check in our database table also at this moment we got 16 only click browse see 17 john male if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video tutorial. In that tutorial, I have explained how to fetch records from the database using class based on list view class in Django. So I have used a list view class to fetch the records from this database student table. Right now in this student table contains around 16 records. And this is the output of the table using generics with the list view class now in this tutorial i will explain how to insert or create new record using create view class with generics now in this video tutorial i will explain how to create or insert new record into this table student table using generics with create view class so first in this uh, index page will add one extra flame to visit to redirect to the new template so this is the coding part once again i'm telling if you don't know how to fetch records from the database using generics with a list view class at the end of this video tutorial you will get that video link so this is the index template which is our the default home page of our application now let's add one uh, href link inside this href link I am adding create new record let's save this file now let's check the output after adding the href link and here we got the create new record let's increase the size of this link we'll add around uh, h3 now let's add a h2 put this h2 header tag at the end of this link after that when a user clicks this button link i want to redirect to a new template called insert.html page so let's add a new templates in this templates folder select the templates right with the mouse new file the file name is called insert dot html and here we got our insert html page let's add a heading uh, first let's add the uh, center tag after that i'm not concentrating designing part in this video tutorial so it will be simple the designing part will be simple after that i'm adding one h1 tag create or insert new record into database using generics with create view after that I'm adding one horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding one table element which contains a border is one then tr the table headings, uh, let's not the headings, the table data td. Let's check in our table. Uh, we have three columns student ID, student name, gender. The student ID is the auto gender column. So I don't require to insert this column. 
So now we require only two columns student name and gender. Student name one more TD is an input element. Input type is equals to text. Uh, let's add the text. Close this one. Place holder. Enter student name. After that, I'm adding one more TR. Then next TR for the gender. TD. The gender I'm adding the options, radio button element, uh, not the option, select uh, radio button. Sorry, input type. Input type is equals to radio and the value is M and um, this is male. Male. Uh, let's copy this one for the second radio button control for the female. Female. Now, after adding the elements after the table, uh, after the TR, I'm adding one more TR with the TD. This TD contains a button element. So, let's add the button type is submit. We are submitting the data. Create new record. That's it. It's a simple designing part in the insert HTML template. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. Oh, we, we need to connect this insert HTML in the URLs. Um, so here, let's add the path insert. Um, insert go to views we require from django dot views dot generic dot update edit edit import create view class after that I'm adding a class called um, insert record create view now model is equals to our model name is a show records so let's add the show records in the views then the template name is equals to uh, create html insert html not create it's insert insert.html now we need to add the fields which are our property names fields is equals to i'm adding a square brackets with the square brackets i'm adding it is an array one is a student name comma and the second property is a gender then once the record is inserted successfully i want to redirect to the index.html which displays all the records um, so here I'm adding one more class called from Django dot URLs import import reverse lazy class. Then here successful URL is equals to reverse lazy. Now in this reverse lazy method takes a parameter which takes a template name if you check in the urls this insert the default home page index name i am adding here that's it it's a very simple code to insert the records let's save this file and next switch over to the urls now here we need to add the insert rec dot as view as underscore view method name is equals to name is equals to i'm adding create now let's copy this create name we'll add here in the href between double curly brackets um, percentage percentage url between single quotes 
let's paste that name which is on template name create that's it uh, let's save this file and the URLs also save the file save R now the most important step uh, here the insert tag is not defined so we need to import the insert tag save this file again Now the most important step is we are posting the data see here we are submitting the data which means we are posting the data in the insert.html I am adding one form tag contains a method property called post let's close this form tag after the table then here I am adding one command called csrf underscore token a csrf underscore token the products of a data from the hackers so make sure when you are posting any data in Django applications add this csrf underscore token command that's it let's save this file save all now after that notice the input type text we need to refer with the property called name the name is I'm adding student name copy this one paste here and for the gender gender name is equals to gender and these values we are inserting we are adding here in the fields let's save this file save all now we'll check the output control c python manage the py run server after i run the server we don't have any issues control plus mouse click and here we've got the final output notice a create new record link is added at this moment this table contains around 16 records the last user student name is a mono let's check in our database table also student table browse see the student id is 16 the name is more than and gender is female let's insert create new record let's redirect to the insert template i'm adding john john is a student name male create new record see here we got the 17th record is inserted successfully and the student name is john the gender is male let's check in our database table also at this moment we got 16 only click browse see 17 john male thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel